Hi everybody and welcome to NorCal Slot Car Scene. Today I'm going to show you the, well frankly it's the best pit box I've ever owned. And the best part of it, it's under $20. It's available from Harbor Freight and it's called the Storehouse Toolbox Organizer with four drawers. The beauty of this box is the organization. When you open the lid, you see that I've got my normal pit towel and setup block. My trackside pit caddy that I featured in a previous video sits on the left. The lid of the box will close with the pit caddy standing straight up with the fluids. The lint roller, however, is a bit too tall, so it lays flat in the middle of the box. I have two tire carriers in the box, but I can put a third in if necessary. Each uh, tire carrier holds 10 sets of tires. The last item in the box is a 10,000 milliamp battery, which powers my built-in pit light. I decided to use the top two drawers for tools and for spare parts. You can see here I've got pretty much everything including the kitchen sink in my spare parts box. The second drawer is for tools. The organizers included with the toolbox will hold just about anything from normal screwdrivers and allen wrenches to gear pullers, presses, and calipers. Even small tubes of super glue and silicone adhesive fit very well in the organizer. The bottom two drawers will hold four race cars each, which is fine for me since I rarely take more than eight cars to the track. You could, however, consolidate your tools and parts in one organizer and have three levels to carry 12 cars. Another configuration would be to use the top compartment to carry your controller, as long as you're not taking uh, more than one box of tires. The shelves for the race cars are made by simply taking the lid off the organizer box and using the lid as the shelf. I use foam sheets for liners, both for looks and to protect the bottom of the car and the tires. When it's time to go to the track, I simply select the cars I'm going to race that day, put them on my shelves, and I'm ready to go. I wanted my pit caddy to sit flush with the left side of the box, but the first time I tried it, it didn't quite fit. I used a rotary tool to just slightly notch the area where the pit caddy needed to go. My next modification was to add a built-in light. I found a light at IKEA that fit my needs perfectly. To mount it in my pit box, I cut it in half about six inches from where the articulated arm starts. I used silicone adhesive to attach the rigid portion to the pit box. Then I cut a notch in the pit box to allow the arm to extend outside. The light is now able to be pulled out for use and rotated back for transportation. I ran the wiring for the switch through the same notch we cut for the lamp and then mounted the switch to the outside of the box. I now had a built-in pit light with an articulated arm. Another benefit to this lamp is that it's USB powered. I purchased a 10,000 milliamp power bank and it will run the lamp all day. The power bank that I purchased can be plugged directly into an AC outlet so I don't need a separate charger. The power bank also has two outputs so I can run my lamp off of one and charge my cell phone off the other. Besides charging my cell phone, having the dual outlets allows me to plug in my USB fan. It's really nice to have proper lighting and a cool breeze without being dependent on AC power. When I'm ready to go to the races, I simply load up my cars, grab my tools and spare parts, Put everything I need in the main compartment and I'm ready to go. Is this the perfect pit box? Well for me it's as close as I've got, but I'm always looking for ways to improve it. This is Jim Rose with NorCal Slot Car Scene and we'll see you at the races.